Lesson 35, we are going to be multiplying fractions, and we're going to be talking about that in word form today. All right? So let's get started. I have eight-fifths. Now, eight-fifths is really um, an answer, if you will. It is the product, okay? So we're going to create a multiplication problem, and eight-fifths is going to be the answer. So eight-fifths is the same as saying four times two fifths, okay? Because four times two is eight, and I would get eight fifths, all right? So that is the same as saying four times two times fifths. And I know that four times two is eight times fifths. All right, so those are all ways that we can represent eight fifths. Now let's talk about what that looks like in number form because I think that'll help you relate to it a little bit more. So I have here eight fifths, what I started with, is equal to four times two fifths. That is also the same as saying four times two times one fifth, right? Or we could say eight times one fifth, and that would give us eight fifths, all right? Let's try another one. Let's try 10 six. All right, so 10 six is the same as saying five times two six, right? Because five times two is 10. In addition to that, that's like saying five times two, which is 10, times six. All right, five times two is 10 times six. Now let's look at that in number form. So these words kind of have a little bit more meaning. So it's kind of like saying 10 six is equal to five times two six. See, it? five times two six, which is the same as saying five times two times a six, which is also the same as saying five times two is 10 times a six. All right, so 10 six, these are all equal ways of representing 10 six with a multiplication problem. Now let's do it the opposite way. Let's work a little bit backwards. All right? So if I have seven and two thirds, or sorry, seven times two thirds, all right? Seven times two thirds is equal to seven times two times one third, which is also the same as saying 14 times one third, which is also the same as saying 14 thirds. Because if I counted one third 14 times, I would get 14 thirds, all right? Now let's do this in word form, seven, times two-thirds is the same as saying seven times two, okay? Seven times two, in parentheses, thirds, which is the same as saying seven times two is 14, 
thirds. All right, 14 thirds. Let's do one more with a number as an example. All right, let's try four times two fourths. Four times two fourths is the same as saying four times two times a fourth, okay? Because two times, sorry, one fourth times two would be two fourths, right? That's all I did. Then four times two is eight times one fourth. That's the same as saying eight fourths. All right, so let's put it in word form. Four times two fourths is the same as saying four times two fourths, which is equal to eight fourths. Fourths. There it is. Now it's your turn. All right. I need to see these both in word form and in number form. Make sure you use these models to help you out. It will really, really help if you look back at your work. I would like you to complete these three problems. Seven times four ninths. Eight times three fourths. And twelve fifths. All right, go ahead and do that tonight for homework and I'll see you tomorrow.